Ball in the 21. I got to go to the four for a first down. Fourth and 17. I know I'm asking a lot, you guys, but hunker it down one more time. Yep. Ronnie Harris and Jeff Sanchez got up in the air. We had pressure up the middle. They pressured the quarterback, one man in the middle, and one from the flank. They pressured him. And now everybody's drawing three, two, one, and they're carrying Vince Dooley off the field. Lauren, what do you got? I got a happy coach about three feet from me, Bill Lewis. He's got his head down in between his knees. He is praying. He is a thankful guy, and so is everybody on this sideline. Now, kill the clock, Larry. You did a great job of stopping all I've never heard you do it better. Larry Munson, Cloud Nine, Bulldog Heaven. Dear Larry, you wouldn't believe what happened two weeks ago against LSU. You would have broken your chair if you had been with us when Georgia kept fighting back against one of the most physical teams ever to play between the hedges. You would have been worried until that last Zach Mettenberger pass fell incomplete. Then you would have, like the rest of us, gone over the top. Surely you would have had some classic call. You would have given us something to savor through the season and to warm our hearts in winter. I know you would have authored a historic call to match the spectacular performance on the field. It's so wild in Athens, Larry, these days, much like when you and Herschel rose to the occasion in 1980. What was that? A two cigar a game year for you? You would have had to have three cigars against LSU if you had gotten home from the stadium before midnight. Larry, you've never seen such post-game traffic as we're having now. Nobody leaves the stadium until the final tick on the clock. This is a cardiac team. After the LSU game, the South Stands didn't empty until the players came back on the field to say thanks. Coach Rick actually broke down on national television and in the locker room after the game. You never cried on the air, but you might have after LSU. Larry, I'm telling you for sure you would have broken your chair if you'd been in the radio booth named for you in the Georgia press box. The game and the way it was played would have given you your greatest challenge. You would have had to top Run, Lindsay, Run, Yeah, 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 even Hobnail Boot. We just stepped on the face with a hobnail boot and dropped her nose. Against LSU, you would have had to rise to the occasion for both the offense and the defense. You would have been calling on Lady Luck as Georgia scored the go-ahead touchdown to take a 44-41 lead with 147 seconds left. But you would have been worried. Too much time on the clock for Mettenberger, you would have lamented. As for the Georgia defense, which rose to the occasion four straight downs, I was in the press box hearing you from somewhere saying, hunker down, you guys, just one more time. I know I'm asking a lot, you guys, but hunker it down one more time. Ohio wobbly pass and the dog broke it up. They broke it up. They broke it up. Dog just won it. Somebody threw something on it. Dog just won it. Oh, look at the sugar falling out of the sky. Look at the sugar falling out of the sky. You did it, Larry. You got through to our guys on the field. We thank you for that. We know we can still call on you in big games. Larry, you would have a hard time in the booth this year. We're playing so many freshmen on defense, it would take you half a season to figure out the lineup. The special team mistakes would drive you crazy, but you'd love this team's heart if they can just keep from breaking it. This is a special team, Larry, but we're not only worried about Knoxville, we worry about Jacksonville and Auburn and Atlanta just as I'm sure you would be. Your old friend, Lauren.